Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.8.5 and Razbam Simulations M2000C Mirage Module. Welcome to Tutorial 6, Close Combat Modes. These are very similar to the kinds of auto acquisition modes that you'll find in many other aircraft, usually labelled ACM or dogfight modes. Uh, we have a bore sight mode, a HUD mode, a vertical scan mode, and in a uniquely French twist, we also have a horizontal uh, mode. For some reason, horizontal modes are quite uh, common in French aircraft, as you'll have seen from the, the previous tutorial on the Magic Missile, where it has a horizontal scan mode as well. So, without any further ado, let's uh, jump into the cockpit and figure out how all of this works. Now, um, there is some variation on which modes appear when, based on what weapon you have selected. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do a series of demonstrations with the 530 selected, uh, with the uh, CNM switch in neutral, and then we're also going to demonstrate uh, the Magic Missile Override mode with CNM switch in Magic, uh, and you'll see the differences. Uh, and this is all accomplished, uh, you know, entering these modes is all accomplished using the weapon system command switch. Uh, in the past, I've already demonstrated how to uh, use the depress on this switch to unlock a target and return you to the, the kind of normal BVR mode of the radar, uh, but we'll be using weapon system command forward and aft for these automatic modes. So first things first, let's uh, select 530. You'll see that we've got Symbology. I'm then going to go Master Arm On, just because that will make everything look a bit more normal. And the very first thing we're going to demonstrate is Weapon System Command Switch Forward. First time I push it forward, I get Boresight Mode. Now, Boresight Mode is a three degree scan uh, directly down Boresight, funnily enough, uh, and it will lock the first thing that appears within that three degree scan out to 10 nautical miles. Uh, so this is a very common mode that's uh, quite handy. Uh, if I disengage my autopilot here, um, I would simply manoeuvre to place the circuit or, uh, circle sorry, uh, on the target that I visually identified, and after a short delay, it will, uh, re uh, it will automatically acquire that target. So that's the first one to do. Um, if we press Weapon System Command uh, forward again, we actually get what is labelled here as SVI. You'll see SVI in the HUD, and uh, that is your HUD scan. So the HUD scan is doing 20 degrees uh, by 20 degrees scan, again out to 10 nautical miles. You don't get any symbology showing you the extents, but basically it's a scan kind of in the middle of the HUD here. So again, you would, you would position uh, your intended target on the nose, and the system would automatically lock. If I wanted to exit either of these modes, well, I, I should say actually, if I press uh, Weapon System Command Forward again, uh, I go straight back to Boresight, press it again, I go back to SVI. If I depress Weapon System Command, then it exits the auto acquisition modes, and I'm back to normal, and I have my TDC again. Uh, something to note is that when we're in auto acquisition, there's no TDC, there's no ability to control the radar, it's completely autonomous. So, depress, we're back into normal. And with the 530, 530 selected, if I press a Weapon System Command Switch Aft, or, or back, I get BAH mode, uh, which is a horizontal scan. That's giving me 30 degrees wide by 5 degrees um, azimuth scan. It's a, In effect, it's a two-bar scan. And in this mode, uh, you'll notice that my TDC is flashing. I can actually slew this mode using the TDC. Uh, I can only slew it left and right. Uh, using the TDC up and down doesn't do anything. So I can have it centered or I can look off to one side, which is kind of handy. The other thing to note is that in this mode, the elevation works. So I can actually use my radar elevation command uh, in order to uh, point this up or down. Um, so that's a, another kind of handy thing I can do. So this one is steerable. Uh, and then the thing to note is that this is a BAH is high PRF. If I press Weapon System Command Aft again, I'm going to get this mode labelled BA2. It's exactly the same in so much as it's 30 degrees by 5 degrees, 10 nautical miles. I can slew it uh, up and down left and right, but this is now medium PRF as opposed to high PRF. And then if I do Weapon System Command Aft again, I'm back at BAH. 
And if I depress weapon system command, we're out of the mode entirely and back into normal radar mode. I'm just going to bump this range out a little bit and let's go around and look for uh, a target and I can then demonstrate these modes. Now, uh, again, note this is with the 530 selected. There are some slight differences when you have the magic selected, but I will demonstrate that in just a moment. Uh, today, I've got a loadout with 530s and magics. So we're going to fire off our uh, mad, uh, 530s first, and then I'll demonstrate what this looks like for the magics. So let's go ahead and press uh, weapon system forward and forward again. We're doing the full HUD scan just now. And as I maneuver around, hopefully, we'll pick something up. We had some targets out in this direction. Oh, yeah, they're actually showing up on the RWR. So I'm just going to follow the RWR indications until I get them. And there we go. We have our first auto lock. And uh, I'm indicating TIR. I'm ready to launch. So I'm going to go ahead and get the steering cue in the circles. Pull the trigger to the second detent. Left missiles away. And now I'm going to wait and see what happens. We've got seven seconds to impact, estimated. Three, two, one. I don't see a splash, so I think he defeated that somehow. So let's uh, pull the trigger again. Oh, we've actually lost the lock. We've lost the lock. Let's see if I can actually get this guy back. I'm going to go weapon system forward, try and get him into the bore site. Hmm, okay, I'm going to go back to depress, then I'm going to go forward again. I've got my lock, pulling the trigger, missiles away. Let's see if we actually managed to get killed this time. Oh, I think he's defeated it again. Oh, there you go. This guy's too good. Okay, so going back to weapon system neutral. Going to deselect the 530 because I don't have any anymore. And I'm going to go CNM switch aft. We now have the magic missiles selected. And if I press weapon uh, weapon system command forward, I get bore sight just like with the 530. But if I do it again, I now get vertical acquisition mode. That's actually my magic seeker that's gotten a lock there. And I have a radar lock as well. As before, you can see that I've got the triangle. Now let me just pause this very quickly so I can talk about the vertical scan mode. You don't get vertical scan mode when you have a 530 selected. I don't know why. They, I guess they uh, decided that you're unlikely to be in a turning fight and trying to fire a 530. Uh, so vertical scan is 5 degrees wide by 60 degrees azimuth. It also scans out to 10 nautical miles. Uh, and you should be aware that it's scanning 10 degrees below the gun cross and 50 degrees above. So much like with most aircraft's vertical scan mode, it's really designed for when you're in a turning fight and it's effectively looking ahead into the turn. So let's go ahead and prosecute this target. I'm going to pull to get my steering cue. Pull the trigger. Oof, that was an almost immediate kill. Okay, I'm going to depress weapon system command. I'm going to push a weapon system command up twice again. I'm going to come around and see if I can pick up another target and fire my last magic missile. Let's see if we can find the last enemy aircraft here. Nope, I haven't found him yet. If I do F10, oh, actually, it should be kind of in front of me. Uh, let's uh, let's depress to come out of this mode. We're doing a normal scan again. I'm actually not seeing anything on the radar. Although this guy should be in front of me. I'm going to go back into the vertical scan again. Oh, seen. He's up above, actually. Let's see if we can get this tricky fellow... No, I've lost all sight of him. It was something to note is that we've got the RAS mode, the kind of lost target indication from the previous one. If I depress the theta switch, it will actually clear that for me, just to be aware. Uh, okay, they're as a group now, basically off this way. Let's see if I can get this final set of kills. There we go. I've got the triangle, they're co-located. I'm going to burn after him. 
I'm slowly catching up now. I'm in range. I'm pulling the trigger. Missiles away. And that's a kill. That is a kill. And I'm going to press uh, weapon system uh, command back to neutral again. So we're back in the normal mode. I'm going to clear the RAS. And I'm going to put my uh, CNM switch back into neutral. And the magics are deselected. So that's us completely back to normal. So uh, that's the, the close combat modes that you have available to you in the M2000C. Uh, just to quickly go over these again. When you have a 530 selected, pressing weapon system command up will give you bore sight. Uh, and then pressing it again will give you HUD scan. If you press aft on the weapon system command switch, you'll get BAH. And if you press it again, you'll get BA2. These are the horizontal scan modes. Bore sight is 3 degrees, scan 10 nautical miles. HUD scan is 20 degrees, scan 10 nautical miles. BAH is 30 degrees by 5 degrees. And note that it's steerable using the TDC and using the radar elevation controls. Uh, and then lastly, if you have a magic missile, you get bore sight and then vertical mode. Vertical mode is 5 degrees wide by 60 degrees uh, azimuth and out to 10 nautical miles. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. And if you haven't already, you also have the option of further supporting the channel by becoming a member of Deephack's ground crew. You do that by clicking the join button below, and you can further support the channel for a small monthly fee. Thank you very much indeed to those of you who've already done so. Big shout out to Harish Rajan, Byron Farrow, Storm Kimbari, Channel Wright, Mangash, J.R. Walker, Chandler Hedgevald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Frantic Stone, Bread, Tier Zero, Erdin Kirtan, Veli Tapani Corpicanas, Tiger Moto, Sean I Am 81, Charts, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.